More on pitching as we get you out to Meredith Barakovitz and the Clubhouse Report presented by your local Ford stores. And I know tonight, Meredith, you have a plethora of pitching updates for us. And Bob, all of them are encouraging news, but we'll start with Luis Severino. It really has been a rough season for him. He has not been on a major league mound since 2019. First, he had Tommy John surgery. He came into spring strong. It looked as though he was poised to make a mid-season return, but throughout the rehab process, he suffered a setback, injuring his groin. When he came back from that, he was going to make his second rehab start in the minors. He was scratched with shoulder tightness. Today, however, he took a significant step forward you see him there throwing to hitters for the first time since August I spoke with him after that session where he threw an equivalent of two innings to see how he felt pretty good you know a little tired haven't been in the mound a little bit but you know pitches and I'm strained for very good was there any concern that you were going to feel something just how big of a step was this for you no actually not I've been feeling really good the last couple of weeks you know as you, you know, I feel, I feel ready. How much were you looking forward to getting out there and actually facing hitters? I'm looking forward to that, you know. I've been looking forward the whole year, you know. A lot of different situations happen, but hopefully this is the last, you know, time. What's next for you? Uh, I don't know. Uh, the most important thing is it will be how I feel tomorrow and see how my arm responds to, you know, two innings. Uh, after that, I will ask the trainer what they think about. What do you feel like? What do, you feel, what do you feel ready for? I feel getting ready. Yes. Just how badly do you want to join this team and be a part of it? Yeah, I mean, this is, you know, I've been part of this team, you know, since 2015. I think Garth is the only guy who was here when I came here. So, you know, not being able to be in the team and I held the team for, you know, a couple of years has been, you know, really bad. So I'm looking forward to, you know, join the team and help. And that's out of the bullpen, that's fine? If they want me to, you know, hit, throw, catch, I do whatever. I don't really care right now. And you really have to feel for Luis Severino, who thought he was going to be a part of it way earlier this year. He still needs to cross some hurdles to get back to the big league club, but certainly that a step in the right direction. Tomorrow will be telling whether or not he feels any soreness in that shoulder. If not, it'll likely be either a live session or he'll start a rehab assignment. Obviously, not a lot of time left in the season for Severino to work himself back. There was also a significant step from Jonathan Loizaga today. He started his his throwing program. He was out on the outfield grass around 3 o'clock this afternoon doing some light work there. I spoke to Matt Blake yesterday about Loisaga, and you see he's just playing catch. Nothing major yet, but just picking up a ball for the first time in 12 days, a big deal. And with the shoulder issues he has had over the years, the Yankees are going to be careful with Loisaga, but Aaron Boone always the optimist, encouraged that they will get him back. Time will tell whether or not that is the case. Jamison Tyone was also out there. He is expected to throw another bullpen session tomorrow. When I spoke to Tyone yesterday, he was pretty fired up with the way his ankle felt and really the way his arm feels right now. He thinks he is going to be in the fold this season and back in the rotation sooner rather than later. And Domingo Herman, really the closest out of all of those guys. He played catch in the outfield, but the next step for him will really come tomorrow. He'll make his second rehab appearance if that goes Goes well, according to Aaron Boone. He will join the Yankees as a member of the bullpen, and that bullpen has been used so much lately. They could certainly use a fresh arm and an arm like Domingo Hermans. Now, as far as this team is concerned, it is do or die for the Yankees. They have just 15 games remaining, and you look at the standings right now. They are half game back in the wild card. I spoke with Brett Gardner earlier to ask him whether or not this team is concerned that they are going to be on the outside looking in when it is all said and done. I wouldn't say that we're concerned about that. I mean, we know that we obviously, um, you know, we kind of control um, what lies ahead. We're obviously as inconsistent as we've been and as frustrating of a season it's been, we obviously um, still in a good position to make the postseason. And, um, you know, we just have to play our best baseball here down the stretch these last two weeks. So I'm um, just fortunate that we still have an opportunity to, um, you know, to uh, accomplish what we set out to do. Obviously, it might not be the way we uh, set out to do it, but it never seems to be. So, um, you know, still believe in this group of guys and um, love, love the team that we have and feel like we can get it done. Why do you think it has been such a roller coaster ride this season? Man, um, I don't know. It seems like it's been 
one thing after another. Um, we've, we've obviously battled through a lot of adversity and a lot of ups and downs, and there's been times when we played really, really good baseball, and um, there's been times when we haven't, obviously. And, um, you know, the inconsistency is, is tough to deal with and tough to watch at times, but, um, you know, it's part of the game, and um, it doesn't ever slow down for anybody. It seems like spring training was just a month ago, and here we are talking about 15 days left, so... Uh, the season has flown by, but um, you know we're still in position to to make the postseason and and accomplish what we set out to do, which is win a World Series. And um, you know I do feel like we have the guys in the room to do that. It's just up to everybody to to show up and do their job. Well, how do you go about trying to find that offensive consistency in the final 15 games? What can you guys do as a group? Yeah, I mean just keep working, keep supporting each other, and um, you know keep picking each other up. When I don't get the job done, the guys behind me have to do that, and and vice versa. And um, you know there's been times when we scored seven or eight runs and we've given up. Eight or nine and there's been times when we've only given up two or three and only managed to score one or two so um, you know when things aren't going well it seems to seems to snowball on you so hopefully um, we can get things turned around in the right direction this week at home and I'm um, looking forward to playing in front of our fans.